Welcome to the Technology Demonstration Center's Smart Board Tutorial. Before using the Smart Board, you must first orient the board's grid with your projection. To open the orientation screen, simultaneously press the pair of buttons on the pen tray at the base of the screen. After the orientation screen opens, begin the process by pressing the center of the blinking red target in the upper right hand corner. Repeat as the target moves. On a smart board, your finger guides the cursor just like a mouse. Practice using your finger mouse with the Windows Exploration activity. Tap the Start menu button with your finger. Open the Control Panel menu in the right column. Open the Printers and Other Hardware application located on the top right. Open the Help menu located on the top menu bar all the way to the right. Choose the Help and Support Center option. Close the window. Open the Start menu again. Open the My Computer option to access the folder of hard drives. From the selection of hard drives, open your own U drive. Using the View menu, change your view of the files at least twice. Do you know what Restore Down means? What about to make a window active or inactive? Minimize the window. Bring the window back up from being minimized on the toolbar. Make your U drive window smaller with the Restore Down button. Make the window inactive by tapping anywhere outside it. Make the window active by tapping anywhere inside it. Maximize the window. Close the window. Smart Notebook is a cross between a word processing and PowerPoint program with multimedia capabilities. To open the Smart Board Notebook software, tap the Notebook icon on the desktop. Use the Smart Recorder to record your on-screen activities for use at a later time. In order to access the Smart Recorder, you must first add it to the icon toolbar. Next to the keyboard button on the pen tray is a button with an image of a mouse with the right button colored in. This is the right-click button. Press it. Any tap on the screen immediately after you press the right-click button will cause the cursor to react as if you had right-clicked with a mouse. Use your right-click to tap on the icon toolbar located under the menu bar. A tools menu will come up. Find the smart recorder icon. Press your finger to the icon and drag it up to the icon toolbar. Once the smart recorder icon is located on the toolbar, tap the done button on the tools menu to close it. Open the Smart Recorder icon. A small, rectangle-shaped menu bearing three buttons will open in the upper left corner of your screen. The Record button is a standard solid red circle. Press it to begin recording. Minimize the recording bar. Typing with the Smart Keyboard may seem clumsy at first, but it gets easier to use with practice. The keyboard can be opened in two easy ways. Press the keyboard button at the base of the smart board, or find the keyboard button on the smart board tool menu, which is collapsed on the left side of the screen. To change the case of the keyboard letters temporarily, tap the blue upward pointing arrow. This is the shift key. Once you type a letter, the case will switch back to lowercase immediately. Start typing your name on the keyboard. If your notebook window is active, a text box should appear spontaneously with your text inside. Text formatting processes in Smart Notebook are comparable to the processes in the Microsoft Office Suite. When you are finished typing, minimize or close the keyboard. To change the text, highlight it and use the font formatting toolbar floating above the text box. Change the font. Change the size of the text. Change the color of your name. Use the line menu to draw straight, even lines. 
Press the line button on the icon menu. When the drop down menu appears, choose the kind of line you'd like to draw and draw it on your page. Take advantage of the shape menu to create precise, recognizable shapes. Press the shape button on the icon menu. When the drop down menu appears, choose a rectangle. Draw a rectangle on your page. Press the shape button again to choose and draw other shapes on your page. When selecting a 2D object for manipulation, tap the object's border. To select a shape, make sure you press the arrow cursor button on the icon menu. Otherwise, your cursor will continue to draw shapes when you touch the page. To move an object, press your finger inside the selection box. You can move your object to anywhere on the page. To turn an object, press your finger to the green circle at the top of the selection box and move your finger until you get the orientation you want. To resize an object, press the white circle on the corner of the selection box and move your finger until you get the size you want. To open the formatting menu for objects, open the tab on the left side of your notebook window with the four colored box and the letter A. It is the fourth tab down, below the paperclip attachment tab. Use the formatting menu to change the color of an object. While using the Smart Eraser, notice how it only erases the Smart Pen markings. Pick up a Smart Pen from the pen tray at the base of the Smart Board. Using it just like a normal whiteboard pen, label the objects on your page. Put down the pen and pick up the smart eraser. Erase one of the words you just wrote. Notice how the eraser only erases the smart pen ink, not your objects. Save your project for your IT344 instructor to review later. Save to your S Drive Dropbox. The smart recorder can convert to video file. For IT344, you do not want it to. Maximize the smart recorder and press the square stop button. The recorder will automatically ask you if you want to save the recording as a video file. Choose no. Close the notebook program and log out. Thank you for viewing the tutorial. We hope it was helpful.